Hello guys, this is a short video about the issue of the OBD1 ECUs on Hondas, especially P06s, uh, P28, P13, P72s, like almost all OBD1 uh, ECUs. So mainly when you have a solid cell, it's either the memory that's corrupted, or the internal program there is corrupted, or a power issue. So how it manifests itself. So either you have a solid cell and a fuel prime, or you have no fuel prime and a solid cell. In the case of a fuel prime with a solid cell, it would be the memory. If you don't have a fuel prime, and you still have the solid cell, it would be an issue of power. So either it would be the capacitors that's gonna be inflated or completely leaked. As you can see in this issue, the, the capacitors leaked completely and they damaged the PCB. You can see here all the green coating of the PCB has gone because of the uh, capacitor leaking and uh, what you can do is change the capacitors obviously in some cases it will solve the problem but if it's if it don't solve the problem you will need to change this ic they call it uh, ic17 and the purpose of this ic is uh, power regulation so it received 5 volt from the regulator and it's, it, it confirms, it verify the voltage uh, and it output the voltage to all the logic board because this part is the logic board and this part is the power board so you have all the transistors for the injectors uh, this one is uh, automatic transmission so you have the transistor for the, uh, for the solenoids uh, this one is for the VTEC. So yeah, that's the power regulation. So if this IC uh, is in fault, you will have a solid cell and no fuel prime. And if it's the memory that's corrupted, you will have a fuel prime, but you will get a solid cell. That's it for the video. I hope it's useful and if you liked it, uh, consider subscribing. Thank you!